With the massive success of the Mario Brothers movie, Nintendo is back again, hitting the big screen with their next property, Zelda. As excited as I am for this property to come to the big screen, as I'm a massive fan of Nintendo, Zelda's a favorite of mine, I have reservations, I have concerns, let's chat about them. I'm gonna keep this brief because we have virtually no news on this movie outside of the fact that Miyamoto has confirmed that they've been working on this for several years. Zelda's a big property, they're gonna treat it right, and they got the guy from Maze Runner directing this thing. That all sounds fine and dandy, the big red flag for me is it's live action. Now this is gonna surprise and excite a lot of people who want to see a gritty live action movie where Link's running around with the Master Sword decapitating creatures and having a great old time. I'm not so thrilled about that. First off, we know it's not gonna be rated R. This will be a PG-13 at the most. Secondly, I just can't see the scale being anywhere near something like Lord of the Rings, even with a big budget. Third, Nintendo doesn't have a good track record when it comes to live action movies. Granted, we only have one to look back on, but it is a doozy with that 90s Super Mario Brothers film. Video game movies in general typically aren't the greatest things, so going with a live action approach just concerns me. We've seen some of the weird casting choices in past movies, like Michael Fassbender as the assassin from Assassin's Creed, or Jake Gyllenhaal as the Prince of Persia. So finding a guy that can embody Link, a voiceless protagonist over his entire career so far, is gonna be a challenge. And last time I checked, Orlando Bloom, he's not getting any younger. Although I do think a Legolas version of Link would be freaking awesome. It's just not in the cards. Concerns out of the way, obviously this could work, this could be amazing, especially if they don't go too hard on the green screen and the special effects and they do have some practical sets and characters. Of course you can throw CG and you can enhance the movie, but these movies nowadays often get carried away when it comes to CGI to the point where nothing's plausible, relatable, believable, and you just often are watching with no real emotion in play. Now, the real reason I'm very bummed out, not a little, not a tiny amount, I'm legitimately disappointed, is because I really did want a Smash Brothers universe out of this. I am a big gamer, I like all the Nintendo crap, from Kirby, to Metroid, to Mario, to Zelda. You throw some DK in the mix, you do something a little bit more modern like Splatoon, get all these characters in at some point. And if anyone could have replicated the success of the MCU, it's Nintendo with all of these amazing properties just ready to be explored on the big screen. But they're already losing me by going live action right away with something. I would have killed for a Wind Waker style Zelda film with that beautiful cell shading brought up to the 2023 standards. Could have been so good. And then you do make a Kirby movie at some point. You make a Donkey Kong, a Star Fox thrown into the mix. They can all have their own genres, all their own flavors and feels, but keep them animated. They don't even have to look like the same kind of animation as long as there's some sort of consistency to it, and then we bring them together. You know, I'm usually anti the big universe stuff. I prefer a movie to just focus on itself, um, but there's no reason why we can't have a big picture in play, in the back of the mind. Make these great standalones and then bring them together, and I fear now, with the fragmentation already happening, that that's just not going to happen. And so yeah, I'm disappointed. I'm a little disappointed. Now they could still of course do a Smash Brothers and then just animate all these characters that they have brought to the big screen. That doesn't work as well for me. Since this is live action, I suppose Nintendo does have the opportunity once more to use Chris Pratt. He can just be himself with the Link hat on. Joking aside, I could see someone like Timothy Chalmay, I guess. He, he's a popular actor, right? And he definitely has more feminine features, very soft, very pointy facial structure. I also don't care. I prefer if they went with someone brand new. Orlando Bloom this situation all over again. Get an up-and-comer. And then, of course, there's Tom Holland, who's always just lying in the weeds, ready for his next big role. They, they love Tom Holland. Throw him in there. Obviously for Ganon, you do Dwayne The Rock Johnson, that just seems like a no-brainer. Or maybe Vin Diesel, just, just bring the whole Fast and the Furious crew over. No, joking aside, I don't really have any fan picks for this movie. I couldn't even think of who would work in the role as Princess Zelda. I assume they're going to want to scale younger, youngish, maybe in the 20s. 
I, I just have nothing that comes to mind really at all. Zendaya, we wanna, we gonna race swap this one, throw Zendaya in the mix. There's my quick brain dump on the announcement. I'm not super thrilled about this. Nintendo could completely blow me away with a show-stopping trailer. I'm sure they're gonna go off of the Ocarina of Time sort of period of the Zelda franchise. There's a stupid amount of games. They're all pretty damn great though. Um, and I think that that's what most of the fans would really resonate with as you go back to Ocarina. It always goes back there. All right, let me know your thoughts though. Are you excited for this news? Are you a little bit bummed out as I am? Because it kind of takes us away from a Smash Brothers universe that we all I think would have enjoyed at some point or another. Or maybe you're just a little bit more optimistic in life and that's great. I, I wish I could be. I envy you, sir or ma'am. Let me know in the comments below. Please like the video if you enjoyed yourself. Subscribe as I post tons of movie related content each and every week. Occasionally I jump on a news story if I have something to say about it. Usually it's movie reviews, movie roasts, and a couple live streams a week. So there's a lot of content here all the time. Would love to have more eyes on it. All right, hopefully I see you soon. That soundtrack is going to be a banger. You know it.